loves it's Shelby and I'm back with my first faith chat hey hey <laughs> I'm hype I'm excited I have recorded this video about 50 11 times and I was struggling with like what thing to start off with today but first before I even get started I wanted to say that if you have not seen me before please make sure you subscribe to this channel you don't want to miss out on this conversation this dialogue that we're going to be having here on YouTube it's so important to me right now to really step out there all the way and just you know shout from the mountaintops how it feels to be you know having this walk having this journey with God and Jesus Christ um, so please do make sure you subscribe like today's video you are not going to want to miss any of these chats I promise you and they're gonna be coming every Thursday if this is your first time seeing me I am the blogger behind Shelby.com um, I will put links and everything somewhere on here maybe over here maybe over there down there I don't know it'll be somewhere okay <laughs> so I'm the blogger behind Shelby.com I'm also the voice behind I am Shelby podcast my podcast is available on iTunes Google Play and it's also available on SoundCloud and if you do not know I'm an author I'm the author behind own it embrace your faith journal so um, I'm, I've been kind of talking and you know out there with my faith journey for the last few months now and I've gotten very serious very deeply rooted seriously like yes yeah, it's, it's, it's strong a strong feeling um, in my faith journey and my spiritual journey and I started sharing um, more and more about <laughs> this journey the ex experience the things that I'm learning on social media and I was having such great conversations with people I was getting such great feedback and embrace embracement um, that I decided I wanted to bring it to my YouTube channel also and I'm nervous be honest I'm really nervous about talking about this on YouTube primarily because I haven't recorded videos in a while so I'm a little rusty so if I rant I apologize ahead of time I'm gonna try not to wave my hands too much doing these videos I'm pretty animated as you can already tell um, but yeah I'm, I'm back on the channel I just God just placed it on my heart to come back and, you know, to use this platform as an opportunity for me to share even more about my faith journey. It's a little bit more personal, I feel like, because you're looking at me as I'm talking about it. You can see the looks on my face, you know, my facial expressions and, um, I, you know, hey, it's, it's a live chat. So anyways, well, it's not really live. Periscope is live. But you know what I mean. Like it's it's a pers uh, a person to person more chat than our a, a more personal. I can't get it out, child. It's a more personal chat than um, me talking on social media or um, on the blog or the podcast because you're seeing me. So I'm vulnerable here. So you guys don't judge me. I'm rough, rusty because it's been a while since I've been on here um, in front of the camera, but. I'm here nonetheless and today I don't really have one topic in specific I just want to talk about <laughs> I just want to talk about a few different things um, one of the main ones being if you if you if you've been in church for a while or if you are considering going back to church and trying to like find a church home or if you're considering for the first time deciding to walk with God, there's a few things that I think we can all relate <laughs> relate to. And so I wanted to talk about those today. And I am going to try to say these in the nicest way, but child, if I don't, forgive me ahead of time. I'm trying to go back to church and I'm really struggling to bring myself back to church like to physically you know go to church and commit to like one church going there being there holy and solely and I had to really do a, a lot 
of self-reflection um, and kind of trying to understand like, what is the hold up, Shalina? Like, you know, you need to go, you know, you know, it's a part of the walk. You, you, you know that it would be beneficial for you. Like, why won't you just get up and go? And today is actually Sunday and I know I'm bringing you guys new videos every Thursday. So today is actually Sunday and I didn't go to church again. Sunday after Sunday has gone by for the last probably five months, to be honest, and I still have not gone to church. And I read my Bible pretty much every day. So it's not like I don't believe or I'm not committed to this because I, I'm very committed to, to building a relationship, you know, with God and, and having a, a strong strong foundation that's based on the scripture and the word um but bringing myself to go back to church has been so hard and if you've been in church for a long time you may not be able to understand what it's like to kind of go in there for the first time but if you're trying to go back to church and you haven't went yet and something's holding you up and you ain't really even thought about why, <laughs> you can probably relate. Um, but yeah, I'm just having such a hard time, you know, going back. It's really important to me that like, I find a good church home that I can really feel comfortable in and not feel, I'm sorry. It's really important to me that I find a church home that I'm comfortable with, that I feel like I connect to the words that are being shared and that I feel is very scripture based because I have been to churches before that it's it's hasn't been like extremely scripture based. It's more like a little motivational message. And I'm really looking for a scripture based word. You know, I, I want to hear it from the Bible child. I'm just saying. Um, so, you know, with all that being said, I have certain things in mind you know what i'm saying of how i want my church life to look but none to nonetheless even though i have things in mind that i want i haven't went to any <laughs> lately i haven't i haven't gone um and it's been so long that i literally just had to really sit down and pray about it and i finally realized like a big re part of the reason why I haven't wanted to go back to church is just because I've been scarred by past experiences that I haven't let go. And, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I understand, like, you know, you have to forgive people and you have to let things go and really move past them and not, you know, not hold them against anyone anymore in order for it to truly be forgiveness. So I don't think it's that I don't forgive those people, but now I'm at a place where I don't trust people. Does that make sense? So, you know, I, I, I don't even care about the things that I went through in the past anymore as far as my church experiences. It's more about the fact that I'm weary of the people that are in church. So I don't, I, I don't know them. I don't, I don't have anything against them, but I'm just weary of the, possibility that I might have a negative experience and I feel like that's what's holding me back so you know I was um reflecting in my journal a few days ago actually it was like a few weeks ago maybe two or three weeks ago and I realized that <laughs> no one's perfect it's really what it comes down to like we're imperfect people and God had made us to be imperfect people and that I was going to have to accept that and be okay with the fact that Christians are imperfect. I'm imperfect and I can't go to church expecting people to be perfect and have their walk together with the Lord. And I don't even have mine together. And, and I don't think anyone's going to have their soul together that you're not going to have any kind of ruffles of feathers. You know what I'm saying? Like we're, somebody's just bound to rub you this, the wrong way at some point in time. It's just human nature. Like, you know, things get heated sometimes. People get aggravated. People are dealing with stuff in their personal life that they bring to church. You know, you just, you never know what people are dealing with that can cause them to act erratically or inappropriately or just odd. And 
we're people. So we bring that to church with us. And so I realized that I was going to have to first, before I could step back in church and get serious about committing to a church, I was first going to have to accept the fact that people are not perfect. And I was going to have to be okay with that. And I was going to have to really love everyone. And that one I'm, I, I really am just now kind of getting to. So a few weeks ago, yeah, I definitely realized like everybody's imperfect. So I just got to, you know, I got to work with people. You know, I can't get so, so bothered. My feathers can't be so ruffled that I allow the idea that somebody's going to rub me the wrong way to stop me from going to church. So I realized that. And then this week I was actually, you know, reflecting because I, I journal um, and I realized another thing that's really, really, like, really blocking my blessing <laughs> from stepping in a church is I don't love everyone. And I know that might sound crazy, like, what do you mean? You Do we have to? But um, I was reading, um, I think it was John and Jesus, I want to say it was John, yeah. And, you know, Jesus was, he was getting crucified, getting ready to be crucified or this was right before he was getting about to be crucified and he was leaving his last commandment, which was to love one another. And it sounds like a simple enough commandment, right? But in our day-to-day -day life, like we're pretty selective with who we love. If we're really honest with ourselves and really think about it, you know, we don't run around saying, I love you to strangers. Like most of us don't do that. You know, that's most of us, that's not really the world, the reality that we live in. You get what I'm saying? And so I realized that was something else that was really holding me up as far as like walking in a church and, and, you know, really walking in my journey and it's my spiritual journey and really living by the word is that I wasn't really loving one another. Because if I did love everyone the way that Jesus loved us all, if he was willing to give his life because he loved us, you know, why, why can't I get over this fear? You know what I'm saying? this anxiety of walking in the church. If I if I loved everyone, I could because the people that I do consider myself to love or that I did consider myself to love, I would forgive them when they did something wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like so I'm working on that. I'm working through that. Like it's it's weird to me to think that like, oh, I'm supposed to love everybody, even people I don't know, even people who hate me. And people who judge me, I'm supposed to love all of them? Like, really? <laughs> I was just, literally, that's that's how I felt when I read that. Like, I don't know about that. So I'm working on it. I'm going to be honest. That's still going to be a work in progress. Because I feel like um, the way I was raised, what I was taught is like love was it's selective. You know, you love those who are close to you, who have a relationship with you, who love you back. But that's not the way that love works from the standpoint of being a Christian. That's not how it works. It's easy. Just like in the Bible, it says it's easy. Anybody can love someone who loves them back, even a sinner. That's what it says in the Bible. But <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll put the scripture down here so you can read it if you want to. But it, he said it's, it's easy to love um, somebody who loves you back. Like even a sinner could do that, right? So that's not anything. The, the power in loving one another really comes from loving those who don't even love you back, who who are difficult, who are negative, you know. That's where the power in loving one another comes. And so I, <laughs> I am, I can say like openly, I'm struggling with that. I've prayed about that. I'll probably continue to pray about that to really get myself together to a point where I can really do that and, and be okay with that. I'm working on it. So I love y'all. You know, <laughs> I'm working hard every day to, to be able to say that and, and walk in that wholeheartedly with my mind, my body, and my soul, honestly, because I feel like it's so important and too important to just glaze over. Like, you really do. We really do have to love each other, like, wholly, you know, every part of the person, even if they are mean even if they're negative even if we don't feel like they're the best example of what it means to be a christian we have to love one another and so i'm saying all that to say that i have to get over that and i'm still working to get over that but i recognize i recognize now 
you know, what has helped me back from going. And I was planning on going today, but my husband was busy. And so I was just like, oh, I really don't want to go by myself. So I didn't go. Um, but I, I think that we have, because we went to a few different churches, how, I know, we, we've been church testing, <laughs> literally. Um, we went to a few different churches. So I think that we do know where our church home is going to be. Um, but we'll see. You know, I think I'm going to give it two Sundays or so and see if, if that's definitely where I want to go and commit to. Um, but yeah, like... You know, if you are like me and you're struggling to go back to church because you have some level of fear, it may not be that you're struggling to love one another, but that may be it. It may be that you're worried about being judged, you know, or you're worried about people being imperfect and them doing something that's going to ruffle your feathers. Whatever it is, just kind of honestly think about it and reflect, you know, on your past experiences because our past has a huge effects on how we perceive things so you know take take some time you know what i'm saying take take some time take a minute to really think about what it is that's holding you back so that you can overcome it because you don't want to miss out on the blessings that you can get from going to church you never know what relationships you can build what connections god has in store for you by stepping into church and i think that <clears throat> As somebody who's like really new in this whole Christianity thing, um, I'm looking forward to going to church and I'm looking forward to not just attending, but being a part of the church. To me, I feel like that's really important. And I don't mean it from like a, a click thing because I have no interest in that. I'm sorry, I'm not in high school. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't need to be clicked up or anything like that, but I do want to develop relationships with those who are in my church and I want to really feel like it's a community. And so I'm excited. It's been irking my nerves. It's constantly in my head and I think I'm finally I'm finally getting over the barriers that I had. You know, I'm letting go of the fact that there will be people that are, are judgmental or that rub me the wrong way or just aren't what I expected to, you know, aren't the kind of people I've expected to be in church. Um, so I'm letting go of those expectations and really just embracing the opportunity to be in the house with people who believe the same thing that I do and, you know, expecting them to have their flaws and, and loving them for that anyways, because I'm not perfect and, you know, I can be fast to judge. I can be fast to roll my neck and, and say something smart. So I'm sure there are things that people may feel that I may rub them the wrong way, you know. So just having that that whole, you know, perspective, looking at the whole thing now, I'm excited about going back into um, church. I'm not as nervous as I was before. I don't have as much reservations as I did before. I had a lot of reservations about going to church and it was like, I only wanted to go if it was on my terms. So I finally kind of let that go. <laughs> and I realized like, I don't have any terms about going anymore. It just is what it is. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna use it as another opportunity to connect to the word and connect to God and be in his house. And whatever happens, happens. And I'm just looking forward to the opportunity. So hopefully this video blessed you somewhat. I hope I didn't rant for too long. I don't even know how long this video is now at this point. But um, yeah, I hope this I hope this was a good video, a good first faith chat. Yay! <laughs> There's gonna be a lot more faith chats. Like I have so many things that I wonder about that I just want to talk about, and I just feel like it's gonna be fun. I really want this to be like a community where we can talk about things that are bothering us things we don't understand we can have a real dialogue um maybe you don't feel comfortable having it in person with people you know because you don't want them to necessarily know how you feel so i just feel like this is a good opportunity for people to to get some things off of their chest um and to really just kind of chat um i'm hoping that in the near near future since April and the near near future that um, I can host some things locally for for women of faith and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to do that I will be doing that soon um, also just a little sneak peek um you guys make sure you're following me on social media Instagram in particular at I am Shelby 
there is a giveaway coming up. Yes, you heard it first here. There is a giveaway coming up. If you or if you are, <laughs> if you are a Christian, you definitely want to be tuned in to my Instagram for the giveaway. I have an amazing giveaway coming up. Like I can't even believe that God blessed me with the opportunity to give away the things that I'm giving away. Like seriously, I emailed these people and stepped out on faith. Um, asking people to, to donate some things for this giveaway and I did it and I you know how you do something you're like I don't really think this is gonna go the way I planned I was expecting to, to to get a lot of emails that said thanks for no thanks but people stepped up and they showed out honestly and I'm so so excited to be able to to bless someone with these gifts that are like really a jump start for your spiritual journey like if you are on the cusp and you're ready to get started or even if you are all into it all about it it's your thing you know you love the lord either way it goes like these gifts are amazing and i'm so excited that somebody's gonna get these things for free like seriously i'm i'm uber excited i've been kind of sneak peeking some of the items um just so people could kind of get a feel for what's going to be coming up but it's coming up do not forget you want to follow me at i am shelby it's coming just in time for Easter, so make sure you're following so you can get your giveaway <laughs> or get the opportunity to possibly win the giveaway. Anyways, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to end this video. Many blessings and love. I love you all. <laughs> and, and I can't wait to talk to you guys next time. Bye.